crazy God story. I've been a mechanic for a really long time and I once had this guy named David that brought me his truck to look at because it was having some problems and I was going to try and tell him about Jesus because I'm constantly trying to tell people about Jesus and at that point I was going through this phase where I would tell people Jesus loves you and he wants you to know him. That was exactly what I was going to tell David but when I tried to say it something else came out of my mouth. I said God loves you and he wants you to know him more. When I said that David's jaw dropped. Who's like, dude, me and my wife were talking this morning about how we know God loves us, but we want to know him more because we don't feel like we know him as well as we should. The Holy Spirit changed my words and spoke through me directly to what he had already been doing in David's life. David and his wife were already believers. They were just stagnant spiritually and they didn't know how to grow. So we sat there for like an hour talking about what it looks like to grow in a relationship with God and to get to know him more. People frequently ask me, like, how do you talk to people about Jesus and what do you say? Here's the thing. Your ability to reach the lost with the gospel is not dependent on how you start a conversation or how much you know or your ability to speak. Reaching the lost with the gospel is dependent on the Holy Spirit who lives inside of you and his ability to speak and to work through you and your life. When you step out in faith and try and talk to people about Jesus, the Holy Spirit will end up speaking through you and he'll put you on the path of people that need to hear what he has to say through you.